So I've been training for about a year now, um, and I, consistently, probably not correctly, but like consistently, I've been training for about over a year. And uh, you know, most recently, I've seen massive gains, improvements, and I attribute a lot of that, you know, like mainly to the program I'm following, like big compound lifts, you know training three to four times a week, doing push-pull splits, doing legs, you know, um, just like really like pushing yourself every session. I'm more of a strength person. I'm not a big fan of hypertrophy, like lots of reps. I like to keep, like, I like to be strong, you know, I like to be able to get on that bench and put some big, put some numbers on it. Um, and yeah, like for me personally, like I was never really into like protein shakes and stuff. Um, and then I sort of did some research on it and found out maybe I should start using protein, but I didn't know what the best thing out there was. And I heard that whey, whey protein is like, just, it's like not a very high quality. It's got all kinds of crap in it. It's just like a mainstream cheap protein. Same goes for casein protein. And your body like struggles to digest it and whatnot. So I did some digging um, and I found that obviously like, you don't want anything like soy protein, stay way away from that. Um, that shit is just, don't just don't even go near it. I don't care if you're a vegan or whatever. Even if you are a vegan, I wouldn't go near soy. Um, if you look into the process of how it's manufactured and whatnot, you'll you'll definitely not want to want to be getting involved with that stuff. And I'm not necessarily talking about the hormonal effects, but that too could play a role. But what I'm talking about is um, um, yeah, pea protein. That's what I'm currently using. So it's a pea protein isolate. And it's from like bulk powders and uh, I mix it in with like a protein shit that I make myself uh, with like cacao and like put a banana in there, some ice, um, sometimes put collagen, it's like collagen type one and two, three collagen in there. Um, and that's like helped me a lot. Like you, I've noticed re quicker recovery times and like just, just putting on more muscle mass, you know, like no noticeable amounts more of muscle mass and i've used all different types. i've used whey protein i've used soy protein and you know they haven't given me this kind of result so i'd highly recommend looking into that and i think using protein can really help you in training because it's that recovery that's actually building the muscle that's that's where you're you're getting the gains from um so that's something you can improve add to your you know add if you're not doing it now like already i, I definitely look into it like definitely add that into your program and uh the next thing i want to talk about is drugs and alcohol and like my take on that because i think for me personally this is something that i never had an issue with um when i was younger when i was about 16 i started i smoked weed for the first time with my mates and it, it was kind of like a recurring thing we go out all the time get like get lean and shit and uh yeah then i think when i started going to college I was doing it, not ain't necessarily in college, but outside of college on my own and stuff. You know, I'd smoke a joint um, by my, I started doing it by myself. Like it was almost on a daily basis. And I was like, yo, no, fuck this shit. Like it's fucking my head. So I quit that. And uh, I think, yeah, and my mates are still doing it. They almost do it every day. It's actually mind blowing. Um, I don't know how they do it. I did actually smoke weed recently with some of my friends because I just wanted to like remind myself of what it was like you know it was, it was weird it was weird i didn't really get much out of it so i don't think it's that much of a big deal i don't think it's something that you should um do do to be honest uh and same goes for, for drinking alcohol well with alcohol you know i'm i am convinced you know I, there's a lot of like spirit you know spirituality and stuff they talk about it and how it's like a body your know, alcohol the word it's like arabic and it means like body eating spirit and i think that's where you, the the word spirits are derived from like you know out in al terms of alcohol and um yeah like it, it's not something that that's good for you <laughs> you know it's po it's quite literally a poison and you're poisoning your body you're you know you, if you think about it like i've read a book about it as well um you're literally dehydrating your body to like ridiculous amounts. Like you're, I'm not an expert on this stuff, but like this stuff is just, it's poison. It literally is a poison. Like it's a toxic to the body. And it's apparently what, from what I've heard, it is just as bad as heroin. Like it's, it's on the same level as doing heroin. Um, in terms of like the health, no, not necessarily the effects of it, but like the health effects of it, it's like on the same level as heroin. So it's definitely something that, 
you know, it's very socially accepted. Like everyone does it. You know, if you go to a club and you haven't got a drink in your hands, so you'll be like, oh, you're not drinking or do you not drink? And there's like a massive social pressure around it, you know, like especially with your family, they're going to encourage that. Well, for me personally, like they were encouraging me to drink when I was about 15 or something, you know, which isn't bad, but like I never wanted to because my dad would always drink. So it just kind of put me off. And um, yeah, it's just a very like, it's a socially accept, most socially accepted drug that everyone does. And people don't really recognize it as a drug. They think it's normal. Like they'll look at something like weed and they'll think, like, oh, fuck, stay away from that. But then alcohol is, is fine, you know? It's, oh, it's fine, you know, it's happy days. Well, you know, it doesn't do anything. When The effects on it has on your body are detrimental. Like, ideally, I'm hoping that I, I stick to this. Um, I want to stop drinking forever, you know? Like, never again. Like, because it suck. It's, it's almost like eating away at you. Like, it's eating away at your soul. It's eating away at your vitality, you know? it's It's just not... There's nothing. It's like, it's like you're making a deal with the devil when you drink. You're you're trading, your the moment, the positive for that moment, for a big back end, for a big payoff on the back end, and and that's where you go wrong. And I think I think you can definitely have some fun experiences with it, and that's what makes it addicting because you get hooked on that, the ability to just be free flowing and not have any social you know, not being socially awkward and stuff like it, it can, that's, that's, a, that's why you see a lot of the young boys nowadays and girls drinking it, you know, getting drunk because it allows them to access a part of themselves that they can't usually access. But the truth is you don't even need alcohol to do that. You know, if like, if you've been studying game or anything, you'll know that if you go out and you just approach, 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 min minimize time between in interactions, you know, you'll quickly get into a state of just like you just go you know you're just having so much fun you know like you're express you're, you're very express you're expressing yourself um and you don't need and you know and if anything you're gonna have more fun not drinking than you are if you do drink and you're gonna have you don't have to have the back end there's no back end you know there's no the next day you wake up you feel like shit you know it's just it's terrible and your life will just pass you by like if you just live for the weekend and just go out and drink and get fucked up it's just not you know, there's nothing there. Like, and also, if you're studying game as well, if you're trying to, you know, work on your social skills, the things you learn whilst being drunk aren't gonna, they're not gonna cement themselves. You know, they're not gonna be embedded in you the same way as, um, as when you don't drink. You know, because your consciousness is like it's all blurry and it's hard to recall. You know, certain things when you when you're drunk, and it's just not good for you. You know, like I just don't think you should be doing it. And I, I'm a, and don't, like what, 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 I'm not perfect. I I drink a lot. You know, I have been very very bad recently. Like just spending so much money on alcohol, just getting fucked up. Like just that YOLO. Like fuck it. You know, once you already had a few drinks, you're like fuck it. Like let's get fucked. And uh, it's not good. You know, it's really not good. And. Yeah, it's something that I'm definitely going to stop. I'm 100% going to stop, like, and just stop drinking in general because you just don't need it. Like, you really don't. Like, if you can just cultivate that core confidence, you won't need to alcohol, you know, and, and you're always going to be depending on that alcohol. You're always going to be needing that alcohol. And it's like you're building up your personality. You're building up your drunk personality. You're not building up your, your core, authentic, you know, sober personality that you carry with you every day, everywhere you go. So if you just if you stop drinking, then you're going to see some massive, you know, benefits if you do it right, you know, if you if you apply yourself correctly. And then the last thing I want to talk about just quickly is reading. Um, I've been re I've started reading. I started reading about September last year. Uh, I, you know, everyone was saying, read this, read, you know, all the self-development teachers and all that, um, or, you know, lots of rich people and successful people will read. So I was just like, OK, well, if they're reading, I should probably do the same thing. So I started, I bought a book, I bought a couple of books um, and I, yeah, just sort of forced myself to do it. And they say, read what you love until you love to read. So that's kind of where I went, went with it. And I just kind of just discipline myself every day, every day, half an hour of reading. And uh, it's not easy, you know, it's not easy to really sit down and find some quiet time to just concentrate and focus on something. And um, yeah, that's, that's what I've been doing. You know, I've got through about four or five, four or five books, maybe. Or three or four books. Yeah, I've done. I've read a few books. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, so I'm on my fifth book now. So, uh, I don't think 
saying, oh, I've got through this many books, blah, 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 like, that's not really good because you really need to soak in the information. Like, you're not reading just for the numbers. You're reading for the, the knowledge and to take in what's being taught. Um, and that's why there's some books I've read that I think are amazing. And, like, I'm going to read them again because they're that good, you know, like, um, and I really just need to, like, soak in what, you know, the lessons from it. So, um, and yeah, but it's definitely something that's not easy to do, but I don't think many people do it. And there's so much knowledge and value in a book. You would be blown away. Like someone's put their life's work into this book for you to read. Um, not always. Some books, are, you know, you can tell they're kind of like, they're, they're not, they don't have that depth to them. They're quite surface level. They're quite, you know, it didn't take, it wasn't like a lifetime's worth of work put into that book. But some books you read them and they are just on another level of just knowledge and just incredible like information that they have to share. Um, so yeah, that's it for this week's video, guys. Uh, put something in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.